Welcome to this presentation on the use of inkjet printers in printed circuit board manufacturing, brought to you by Bay Area Circuits. As improvements in digital technology have happened, so have the advances for digital fabrication. What is digital fabrication? An example would be 3D printing. With 3D printing, you can print almost anything you can imagine using a computer and a 3D printer. What used to take days or weeks to manufacture can now be printed in a matter of minutes. That is digital fabrication. There has long been efforts to replace the typical lithographic process of printing, printing printed circuit boards. One such advancement is LDI, laser direct imaging. LDI re replaces the normal photo exposed process and provides extremely fine line capability that is often required with today's technology. The challenge is that the cost of an LDI unit is upwards of $1 million. The lower entry costs and to improve the fabrication process, inkjet printing has been explored as a possible option. When I first heard of inkjet printers being used in the printing process, I thought that the printer would print copper directly onto the fiberglass material. While this is something that is being researched and tested, it is not the typical application of using an inkjet printer in the manufacturing process. Though it would be great for the hobbyist or prototyping engineer to be able to do that. Then you would have a process similar to what you would do with a 3D printer today, an instant inkjet circuit. One option that is close is a piece of equipment similar to a CNC machine which cuts the pattern into the copper clad material. Essentially, it mechanically etches the unwanted copper off the board. The cost is reasonable for the equipment and this would allow for quick rough prototypes, though not a large scale commercial option. In my research, I found three main ways that inkjet printers are being used in the digital fabrication of printed circuit boards. The first of those is printing to a transparency. This method would be used typically by the DIY hobbyist. The inkjet printer is used to print an image onto a transparency. The rest then is similar to the normal PCB manufacturing process. The transparency is used to expose a photosensitive panel of copper clad material. The image is developed and then etched. The PCB can still be designed in standard PCB design software with this method. This would work fine for single or double sided PCBs. Of course, you have to deal with the chemicals and drilling the holes, etc. Also, this method does not plate copper into the holes so that you can make a connection from the top to the bottom of the board. Of course, you can always run jumper wires for that. There is a similar option that uses a print and transfer method with an iron-on material, similar to an iron-on t-shirt. The pattern is applied directly to the material and then exposed copper is etched off. The second method is printing a pattern directly to paper or other material user using silver conductive ink. This method again would be more for the DIY hobbyist or could also be used in a classroom. No special design software is needed in this process. In fact, just a copy of the design could be scanned and printed. The components can be connected with double sided conductive tape or silver epoxy adhesive. To me, this has great potential in an educational environment to quickly take ideas and use digital fabrication to make them a reality. This is not quite printing copper onto fiberglass, but it's not too far off. The third method is printing a pattern with specialized ink directly to a bare copper panel. There are some hobbyists that have done this and are using this method already. However, this is the ideal application for how the digital fabrication process will be used for manufacturing printed circuit boards on a commercial level. How does this process work? First, the basic steps used now to apply an image to a copper panel works as follows. A photo plot of the pattern is printed. Copper material covered with photosensitive dry film is then exposed with the photo plot to expose the film. The film is developed, the exposed copper is etched off, and the remaining film is chemically removed. 
the inkjet printing process would look more like this. The print pattern is printed directly to the copper clad material, exposed copper is etched off, and the remaining ink is chemically removed. Just looking at the two processes, you can see there are a number of benefits. First of all, speed. Fewer steps in the process means you can accomplish the task much faster. Of course, the time it takes to print the pattern onto a panel may not be as fast as just exposing it for a few seconds. This will be a key factor in the success of this technology being widely used. Cost. Inkjet printers are fairly cheap. You eliminate the need for printing and storing photo plots of the PCBs and fewer chemicals are needed. Waste. Use less materials by eliminating the dry film that is mostly wasted in the process as well as having the old photo plot stored. Registration. There is potential that using a printing method would improve the copper patterns. This could increase the overall quality and allow for finer lines and features than the current process. After the copper panels are etched, the normal PCB manufacturing process continues. So is inkjet printing of printed circuit boards the future of digital fabrication? I think that still remains to be seen, but it's definitely interesting. We'd love to hear your comments and questions about it. Please subscribe, like, and comment on our page here. And visit our website at bayareacircuits.com.